witness form. Thank you. If not, and you wish to testify, we ask that you please fill out a witness form. And, uh, and then when you get to the chair, if you would please uh, state your name for the committee. Thank you. I've never done this before, so I'm a little nervous. My name is Bernadette Gronborg. <laughs> And um, I'm resident of Festus, Missouri, which is Senate District 22 in Ryan McKenna's district. Um, I'm proud to say I serve on the steering committee of Missouri Healthcare for All, which is a grassroots organization, uh, nonpartisan. It's made up of faith and community leaders here in the state, and we're committed to quality, affordable health care for all Missourians. We have a 20, 129 endorsing organizations of our principals and more than 7,300 members in the state. Missouri Health Care for All supports the Affordable Care Act, which is my short version of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Personally, I'm a retired mother of four. I have eight grandchildren. I've been married to the same guy for 43 years, my high school sweetheart. And um, we both support the Affordable Care Act, and I'm here today, today as a citizen and a taxpayer that, to ask that Senate Resolution 27 be stopped for several reasons. First of all, one of the provisions I'd like to talk about in the Affordable Care Act for just a second is the medical loss ratio, which means that this year, insurance companies won't be able to just pocket what everything they make. And you know, as well as everyone here in this room, that our insurance healthcare premiums have skyrocketed for decades, not just last year, not just this year, for decades. And now, as of this year, insurance companies, private insurance companies, will have to spend 80% of their uh, premiums for medical care and quality improvement. That's going to be good for those of us who are consumers, and that puts money back into real health care. My own personal insurance, I had to retire a little bit early. I'm 63 years old, and I was unable to get um, insurance easily. I was turned down several times for hypertension, which is high blood pressure. Other than that, I'm perfectly healthy. And I have a policy with AARP Aetna that um, is a deductible of $15,000, not $1,500, $15,000 deductible. And the policy lists a whole list of things that I'm not covered for. Breast cancer, because one of my sisters had it. High blood pressure, spinal issues, menopause. I went through menopause years and years ago, so they've not been able to ask, yes, answer my question as to what that means for me, because I have no issues related to menopause. Um, I think that my policy will cover me if I'm struck by an alien spacecraft as I leave here today but I'm really not sure because it's about 800 pages to read and it's not decipherable for me. I had two premium increases last year, both of $40, and I pay $321 a month for my great, wonderful insurance, but I've taken the responsible stand in buying the insurance. Um, as I said, the health premiums have been on a steep rise and that medical loss ratio guarantees us that most of that money now will be spent on people. Finally, I want to address the issue that in this resolution, it, set, it states in the resolution, as Senator Cunningham has stated, that the total number of Missourians were 71% of the majority of Missourians. Excuse me, I'm nervous. That's just not correct, and here's the reason. 22.9% of registered voters showed up in August for that election. That's 938,782 out of 4,104,834 registered voters. Only 16% of those that showed up, or only, I'm sorry, only 16% of the total number of registered voters in this state passed Proposition C. That is 666,535, and I got those stats off the Secretary of State's website the day after the election. To say that 71% of Missourians voted for Proposition C is incorrect. Only 16% of registered voters in this state voted, and that's the numbers. 
A study recently released by the United Health Foundation and American Public Health Association and Partnership for Prevention lists our state as 39th in healthcare rankings. We have a state motto that says, let the welfare of the people be the supreme law. That's a sorry state of affairs when we're number 39. I respectfully ask that you not play politics with our health care and pander to 16% of the population in the state of Missouri. Stop SR 27. I support the Affordable Care Act. Missouri Health Care for All supports the Affordable Care Act. And I ask that you allow for full implementation of its provisions. And I thank you for the privilege of talking before you here today. Thank you very much. I did email him. You did email him? Yes. Okay. And did you get a response? I have just recently emailed him and I haven't checked my email for two days. All right, thank you. I hope I get a response. Okay. Are there sure any other will. questions? Do we have any other questions for the witness? Senator Green. I just 